Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amuls Academy. Today in this tutorial we are discussing about the generators. First we will see the definition of the generator function that is generator function is a function which returns generator iterator with the help of yield keyword. In this definition there are some non-familiar words right. For example generator iterator and yield keyword. We don't know anything about that. So first we'll see what is generator iterator. Okay. Generator iterator is nothing but it is a special type of iterator. So that means generator function will generate iterators. All the generator iterators are iterators, but all iterators are not generator iterator. If it is confusing, then don't worry. Just remember that generator iterator is a special type of iterator. Okay and generator functions generates iterator. Then we can see yield. Yield is a keyword. If any function contains this keyword, then that function is called as generator function. This yield keyword is like return in normal function. Now we'll see how to create this generator function and how it will generate iterator and all. For that, we'll take an example. Okay, this is the example. Here we can see a function and this function is called as generator function because it contains yield keyword. As I said, if any function contains yield keyword, then it is called as generator function. And the syntax of generator function is similar to the normal function. That is first we'll use df keyword followed by the function name and this is the function body. And here we can see the two variables a and b. a value will be 0 and b value will be 1. This is the initialization part. And here we can see the while loop. And here we can see the statement c equal to a plus b. And here we can see the if condition where we are checking whether my output is greater than the my max value or not. And here we can see the yield keyword. If the value of C is greater than my max, then it will go to the else part and it will execute the break statement. Okay, now I'll save this and run this. First here, I'll create one variable called generator. Now I'll call the function that is fib. And here I'll pass the my max value as 10. Okay. Now if I see generator and here we can see the generator object is created. Now to get the value from this generator iterator, we'll use next function similar to the iterators. Next and here generator and here we can see the first value. I'll go for the alt p. And here we can see second value, alt p, third value. And here we can see next value. And here we can see stop iteration. That is we took my max value as 10 and the next value will be greater than 10. So it gives stop iteration message. Okay, now we'll see how actually this generator function will work. First, here we can see a function call. And when the function is called, the control goes to the function definition that is here. And there we passed my max value as 10. So it will get the value 10. After this, it won't execute the body of the function. It just returns generator object. And here we can see the generator object here. Till now, it won't execute the body of fib function. Okay, it just returns the generator object. Once you call the next function and when you pass the generator as the argument, the function body will execute. So this will execute here. Okay. A will take the value 0, B will take the value 1 and control goes to the while loop. C equal to A plus B that is 0 plus 1. So C takes value 1 and it goes to the if condition and c value will be compared to my max 1 less than 10 yes it is true 
so it will go to the next statement that is yield c once control encounters with the yield keyword it will stop the execution and it will save that value that means it will save the value one here and using next function you can get that value and here we can see that value now execution is stopped again when you call the next function execution continues from this statement that is a equal to b b equal to c and it will continue the execution in the same way till it comes to end to understand better how yield will work i'll include two print statement here print before yield keyword okay after the yield statement i'll include another print statement okay after yield keyword fine now now i'll execute this now first i need to create one variable and i'll call the function i'll pass the argument as 10 okay now i'll call the next function and i'll pass this variable as the argument which contains the generator object this contains generator object enter and here we can see before yield keyword and we can see the value one okay so it will execute this and here we can see the c value and it will stop the execution here and when we call the next function again it will execute from here i'll show you that i'll go for the alt p and here we can see after yield keyword and before yield keyword and value 2 as i said when control encounters with the yield keyword it will stop the execution there and again when we call the next statement it will start the execution from here right so here first we got after yield keyword message then this and then the value i hope you understood how generator function and yield keyword will work in python okay that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel i'll meet you in next class till then take care